seems to be one of my favorite places to talk to you about the Heart Journal. Today I'm going to talk again about the purpose of the Heart Journal. This is sort of number three in a series of, of ex explorations about what the Heart Journal is about. Now, in the earlier conversations, we talked about how the Heart Journal can help us be free. We understand ourselves. We, we can start to understand our emotions and what triggers certain emotions. And so we're free to not have to act in a knee-jerk way about our feelings and our emotions. So that's really important. But it's not just about controlling our behavior, correct? And it's not just about cognitive, um, cognitive awareness of, of sort of emotional triggers, behaviors, etc. Although I say that's very important and it gives us freedom to be able to choose our actions and our behaviors, correct? But one of the other extremely important things about the heart journal is that through expressing ourselves and doing these activities and by connecting everyday life or, or certain things around us, certain physical events, phenomena, uh, certain in the things that we encounter in the phenomenal world, we actually become able to experience emotions because we can unfreeze ourselves and we don't have to be so fearful of what will happen if we feel. I mean, do you have to be afraid of your own emotions? Do you have to be afraid of your heart? I'm here to tell you, I have lived most of my life afraid of my heart. My heart makes me feel uncomfortable, out of control. I'm afraid of what I might do in response. I mean, like, so I close up. I'm afraid of what I might reveal to others. I'm afraid of being vulnerable. And I have come to realize that feeling feelings does not necessarily mean that I'm going to be vulnerable to another person. It means that I can have a life that's lived at depth, a life of richness, of emotional richness. I can ex achieve joy even as I achieve sadness. And thankfully, <laughs> this is the other thing that used to terrify me, I used to be afraid that I'd be stuck in an emotion. But what I found is that in my heart, my heart beats, right? So uh, your heart beats. So these emotions are going to flow in and out. So you don't have to be stuck in fear or stuck in sadness or stuck in, in some other negative emotion that you do not want. And you are able to work with your thoughts to let those emotions flow and have a rich, beautiful life.